Sites to Bob's, y'all. It's your boy Jay Sites. And uh, yeah, I did edit that video for Anna Lee Chopper. And I know y'all seen that part where I put the Glock in his hand, right? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. You feel what I'm saying? So let's just jump into this, man. First of all, I'm using this clip from this The Baby video. And as you can see, the clip is a little too short for me to just perform this effect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twixter it. So I'm going to extend this, right? And this is just me actually telling you some sauce right here, man. You could twix to your clip and it'll definitely be cool. So I believe this clip is 23.976. So I'm gonna hit the speed right here about when his hand is about to rise up. And then I'm gonna like bring it to 55%. And I'm gonna bring it to 10% right here, right? Now I'm going to easy ease those keyframes. Come into the graph editor. You know I me, mean? and we just gonna ease that up like that. You know I me, mean? yeah. right? Let's pre-compose this clip, right? And let's start messing with his hands. His hand and everything is gonna be good for the track. I can tell you that from right now, right? So I'm gonna just, uh, as we pre-compose it, I'm gonna cut it, pre-compose it again, and then I'm gonna go inside of this clip. And I'm gonna add mocha to this. Right? I'm gonna add mocha. I'm gonna track his hand. His hand is literally the easiest part of this entire thing. Now that we have that, let's uh let's mask his hand out. So usually we want to get the entire bottom of his hand so we can only have the clip showing at the bottom, and then the front of the gun will be over his finger, but also going through the uh the trigger hole so it's gonna look cool when i finish but it's kind of a process to get the mask in right we might have to delete a mask and bring a new mask in and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna just roto his hand real quick oh my goodness i don't think i'm gonna roto his hand real quick and this is only gonna be the bottom with me You guys can see like that his knuckle is where this mask is gonna end. You feel me? And then from there, we probably fix it a couple times. So now let's uh freeze this frame, right? And we're gonna add a refined edge, but let's just do that after. Let's just add the gun. So let's go to element. And once we jump into element, let's just add a weapon. Projectile weapon Glock. I would recommend you guys go get a better Glock, bro. These Glocks are very ugly. So now that we have that, we're just gonna take this layer, the bottom layer, hit create track mass, press OK, corner pin, and then hit the uh, solid layer. Rename this to prop gun. And we're gonna put this on his hand. So, by the export. So, now this is where you play with the settings to kind of make his finger go through the hole of the trigger. You know what I mean? So, let's come to the particle size and let's kind of make this real looking, you know? We don't wanna have this looking too fake. Particle rotation, we can up it like that. We can also change the particle X and Y. As you can see, it kind of looked like the gun is already in his hand, you feel me? So now we can make a few keyframes on the X and Y, and let's make a few keyframes on the article rotation. And let's just move those to the back. And when we finally decide to like make our first move, we will hit these little uh, add or remove keys over here. So the gun, I want it to actually pop up in his hand. So for the size, I'm gonna hit a keyframe on that. Hit you, and I'm gonna bring that up just a little bit. Scale it down. Been out shift no time. Been out shift no time. Been out shift no time. As you can see, this mask is very poopy. So I'm gonna fix this up. Let's refine the edge. And let's change this to six. Well, where now this is where I was saying we might could make another mask to kind of you know to indicate that his finger is actually like going through this hole. So <laughs> What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this clip. I'm gonna bring it to the top one more time. So we're gonna take the X blind tool and we're gonna manually get an area of his finger that's right outside the pistol. Now we're gonna 
like that mask. Fix this. Cut it is just a little bit. And we're gonna come back up to this. So now let's reveal this weapon a little more by using the footage as an image texture. And now while I'm still inside the scene setup, I'm gonna make a few changes to the weapon. I wanna make this an extendo clip. You wanna make this an extendo clip? This is mad easy. All you have to do is duplicate the model and you would keep the clip on here, the bottom one, turn off the rest of this stuff and then turn off the clip in this one on the top gun and then over here where you have the clip enabled you just slide that down slide it back and i believe you will have an extended clip so now let's add some lights you feel what i'm saying um i'm just showing y'all that y'all need a mask a roto and then the gun under it you know what i'm saying so it's two mask layers or one layer you know yeah so now you want to actually light your gun up to make it match the scene so right you now you can start adding lights uh layer new i'm used to using this thing over here but i'm trying to use what they're providing me with i'm gonna use the whitest part in this scene i'm gonna light this gun up and then i'm gonna come into these ambient light settings and I'm gonna boost the intensity. And once you fix your roto, all it takes is for you to just add a little more colors, add some grain, and a couple of things that's gonna enhance this entire look overall. You feel me? Like I said, for the sake of the tutorial, it's not gonna be perfect. I, I had to just, you know, show y'all the gist of it and show y'all the mask that y'all need. But anyway, let's just transition this out. And let's just grab a little flash, double flash, all right? Show y'all some sauce up in there, bro. Even out shit no time. 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 And then you can add like you know some other effects to kind of add your imperfections like some flicker. And last but not least, just make this 3D. And let's add a 3D camera. And on that 3D camera, you want to have your keyframes at the default position. And then for the last one, you want to just zoom in to the weapon as well to kind of sell the effect a little more. And we get a uh, F9 on the keys. And let's, let's transition out of this. All right. You could definitely see the imperfections in this clip, you feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's still in his hand. And you guys know that you must keyframe both masks and make sure your rotoscope is perfect, bro. Trust me. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with more. You feel what I'm saying? Peace out.